hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura today for our recipe for our delicious garlic bread that I'm gonna make we're gonna start by proofing our yeast here I have some water and I have the yeast and we're gonna put the yeast into the water we are going to add a teaspoon of the sugar and a little bit of the flour that we have and this gives the yeast something to feed on so that it activates and we're going to let it sit here for about five minutes or so just until it becomes nice and bubbly and then I'm going to transfer you over to the mixer for the first part of the recipe okay we're just going to leave it like that and wait till it starts to bubble alrighty we're going to move on to the dough I'm going to add my flour I have my dough hook attached and as you can see here the uh, yeast has proofed and it's ready to go that just means that it's active I'm gonna put my flour my salt my sugar and my oil and I'm gonna add in the yeast mixture with the water okay so we're gonna bring the mixer up and we're gonna knead this for three minutes before we stop this machine and check on the dough and I'm going to show you what to look for so for now we're just going to knead it for three minutes okay this has been kneading for about three minutes it doesn't look like it's going to need any more flour so I'm going to leave it at this but you can see the texture still kind of rough we need to knead this until it's very almost translucent there okay that it doesn't rip so I'm gonna let this mix normally for me about 10 minutes kneading on the machine does the trick for me so I'm gonna let this go for 10 minutes then we'll move on to the other part of the recipe okay guys this should be ready it's been kneading for about 10 minutes and you can see the texture so much different now it just stretches without tearing see that so this is going to be ready I'm going to pop you over to the counter okay so here I have my dough I have a bowl that I oiled with some olive oil all the way around we're going to pop our dough in here and just give it a little flip make sure everything is oiled and we're going to cover it with some saran wrap and we're going to put it in a, a nice warm place that doesn't get any draft and we're gonna let it double in size it's gonna take about an hour hour and a half I like to put mine in the microwave uh, of course the microwave is off I just cover it up with the towel and forget about it set the timer for an hour and it's done okay I'll be back after this is ready okay I have the bread here that's been sitting for a little while it's doubled in size but you know before I uncover that we're gonna get going with the filling that we're gonna use for this that we're gonna use the cheeses and the garlic and the seasoning I have one stick of butter here we're gonna add a little bit of salt a little bit of Italian seasoning we are gonna add some garlic now I am putting quite a bit of garlic myself because I like that flavor you if you need to put less go ahead and put less I'm gonna crush the garlic in here Okay, now we're going to add our cheeses. We're going to add some Parmesan. We're going to start mixing this up with the butter. Now we're going to add some mozzarella. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. Just like that. Okay, we're going to take our pan. I am going to actually use this bunt pan. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can just grease this with butter. And here we have our dough. And we're just going to press all the air out of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into little strips. Okay, and then we're going to cut them into little smaller sizes. About like that. It'll start to make sense here in a little bit. Okay, and we take our little cut segments, roll them into little balls like that. Just any, they don't have to be perfect, just roll them just like that. Okay, now we have all the balls ready here. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our filling, let me move these over here, we are going to dip each individual little ball in there and then we're going to plop it into our bun pan, okay? So I don't know what's easier for you to see. And if you don't want to put it in a bun pan, you can put it in a loaf pan, whichever you prefer. I just did the, the bun pan just for the effects of it. It looks like, it almost looks like a monkey bread. Well, it kind of is a monkey bread, a garlic butter monkey bread. So you're kind of doing this bit. See, I'm just layering them on. And there we go. It should look just like that. Now, we're going to cover this for about a half an hour. And we're going to let this rise just a little bit. And if you need to organize a couple of these, you can still move them around. Try to get it to the even size, a level size here. There we go. All right, there we go. We're going to let it rise. We're going to let it sit for half an hour. And then we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So I'll be back when this is ready. All right, this has been sitting around for about 30 minutes or so. I'm going to uncover it. And as you can see, it pretty much poofed up again. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees and I'll be back when it's ready. Alrighty, here is our garlic cheese bread. Look at that. Delicious. It just came out of the oven so it's very, very hot still. But I'm going to try to transfer it to the, my serving platter, which I'm just going to put it on this, uh, which basically it's a cake stand. I'm going to flip it onto a plate first and then I'm going to invert it so that this part is facing up because I like that part. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to put it onto a plate first. Okay, see if you spray it good, it won't stick anywhere. Now, see how nice and crunchy and crispy that looks? Where the cheese melts and gets a little crispy. Mmm, it smells delicious. Now, let's turn it back over. Whoa. And there we are. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Delicious. I wish you could be here to smell this. It is just awesome. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I'm gonna pull a piece out so you can see. It's still very hot, but so you can see how cheesy and garlicky it is. I'll bring you up for a close-up. Look at that. Delicious. And it's nice and soft and lots of flavor and it really doesn't take that long to make guys I'll put these up here look at that look at all that center delicious okay guys I will have the recipe and all the items I used on in the description bar just take a look there go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video and if you hit the like button that helps us get recognized and it tells YouTube to help spread our channel so that sure helps a lot and go follow us on Facebook at Virtual Kitchen with Laura okay guys talk to you later bye